That's correct. When we look since January 1, there's been about 16 weeks when sentiment's optimism has been above average and conversely 24 weeks when it's been below average. So even though it's high right now, um, in general, we've really seen neutral sentiment be above average. Um, that's been an av above average 31 out of the last 33 weeks. So not high levels of optimism overall, not high levels of pessimism, more just neutral sentiment. When you see a bullish sentiment jump like it did in the most recent survey by 9.4 percentage points to a reading of 45.7, what does that tell you? What does history tell you happens next? And when we look at it, it's not too telling in terms of what the market is going to do next. We really look for uh, atypical readings or really readings that are unusually high or low. So we'd want to see bullish sentiment being above 48.5 percent uh, right now. And when we see bullish sentiment being unusually high, then we tend to see the markets underperform, not actually be negative, but they tend to have lower returns over the next six to 12 month periods. Uh, we're not that range net yet, so it's definitely an improvement in optimism. Whether that changes after, t after today remains to be seen, but it's not at a level where so, it actually causes us to stop and say, okay, the market is at risk of either over or underperforming. If I can stick that through my translation program, Charles, <laughs> um, this is a contrarian indicator overall. And right now, the fact that we're getting more bullish should tell investors that they should be getting more cautious on the markets. Not yet. It does tend to be contrary in terms of over or underperformance when we look at optimism, but there's a range uh, where, the where the pendulum usually swings. Um, as long as it's within that normal range, it's interesting. It gives you some insights and some color, but it's not at a level that would cause you to stop, look around, and ask yourself, are valuations too high? Is there something going on, going on with interest rates? Is there something else in the market that's causing optimism to be too high? and should give me a uh, pause for concern. We're not those levels yet moving in that direction this week, but not at that level quite yet. I'm sort of surprised that the, that the historical average bullish level is 38.5%, which tells me that more than 60% of your membership or the police are either neutral or bearish. And if they'd followed that, they would have left a lot of money on the table, wouldn't they? Yeah, if they really react to their sentiment, I think in general, not just our survey, but if people just react to their emotions in general, they will leave a lot of money on the table. Now, that number has a, a wide range in it. When we got to, say, March 2000, um, it was, I want to say, near 60, 70 percent. Um, I don't remember the exact mm -hmm. number. Uh, when we get to March 2009, um, it was in the low 20s, possibly in the low teens. So we do have big swings, but we do see it average around there, but it's important to realize that's the average with some really big upside and some downside to that number as well. So bottom line here is you say not too hot, not too cold right now, right? Exactly. Getting a little bit warmer than it was, but not too, not too hot yet.